Karina and welcome to my channel. So ever since the lockdown began, my husband and I were working from our couch and that was painful. Honestly, we were on the couch from 9 to 5 working from home and it was getting too much so we did have to buy a table so we did think about buying another work desk but we realized that we actually need a good dining table so we did have a low seating dining table but honestly it was very difficult to sit on because the stools were very low and it had no backrest and honestly it's not the most comfortable place to sit on for eight hours so i did end up selling this table on kijiji so i was done with that i got rid of that and I had to buy a new one. But I wasn't comfortable spending $500 on a dining table yet, so I did end up buying another one on Kijiji itself. So this table is pre-owned, and I purchased it only for $50, so that was a steal. The only thing was that it did not match my room decor. So I did want to give this table a makeover. Besides that as well, I also had these two bar stools. Now these two bar stools are something that we purchased very early on when we moved into this apartment. So basically in this video, I will be giving all three pieces a good makeover so that it fits very well with the home decor that I have created here and I know a lot of you guys are requesting an apartment tour but honestly I'm just not super satisfied with every corner in this house I do have a few more projects that I want to work on I do want to do more DIY projects to make the space look really cute so I did share a balcony makeover which is gonna be linked right here so take a look at that later and I'm done with my closet as well so I have posted a closet tour right here so you can take a look at that too but yeah i feel like i'm talking too much right now so without wasting any more time let's dive right into the video i took the bar stools out in the balcony to sand it down and one thing that i've learned is that anytime that you're painting on a wooden surface just make sure that the surface is a little rough as you guys can see that the legs of the bar stool are really nice and glossy so i did have to use a very light sandpaper to sand it down Halfway through the process, my hands started aching, so I did have to call my husband to help me out, and I love him for doing that. Once we were done with that, I just took a towel and soaked it in some water to wipe away all the sand particles that are left on the wooden surface. When it comes to applying paint on a wooden surface, it can get really complicated and pretty expensive as well. The best option that I found was to use chalk paint. So when you're using chalk paint, you don't have to strip down the wood to its core. You can literally just sand it very lightly and apply the paint right on top of the wooden surface. As for the chalked paint, I'm using this one by Rustoleum and this is the ultra matte paint in the color aged gray. And this was for $17 at Home Depot. And as for the applicator, I'm using this bristled brush which was for $2 at Home Depot as well. Now here comes the fun part, I'm gonna apply a very thin layer of the chalk paint all over the legs of the bar stool. And if you are following this process as well, just make sure you're applying a very thin layer. And it does not have to be super perfect because we will be applying a second layer on top of this as soon as this dries off. I'm gonna leave both the bar stools out in the balcony so that the paint can dry off completely. In the meanwhile, I'll take this really big piece of cardboard and place it in my living room so that the floor does not get dirty and I'm just going to place the legs of the dining table on top of that so I can sand it down. As for the sanding process, I'm using a very thin sandpaper that I got from India but in order to make this process easier, you can even buy a sanding block that is much easier to use and the more you sand, the better it is because if the surface is very rough, the paint will actually cling onto it for a longer duration. Once again, I'll use a damp towel to remove all the dust particles from the wooden surface. Once the table is completely dry and clean, I'm using the same chalked paint to paint over the legs of the table. Once again, I'm applying a very thin layer of the chalked paint all over the wooden surface. And this time I'm being a little thrifty because I used up a lot of paint to paint the bar stools. And I don't want to buy another box of this paint because this was almost $20. So I applied a very thin coat of the paint. So I'm done applying the first layer of paint on the legs of the table. But as you can see, the paint is very streaky and it did not cover the wooden surface very well but that is completely okay because this is going to get all covered up in the second layer. While I wait for this paint to dry off, I'm going to start applying the second layer of paint on the legs of the bar stool since the first layer was completely dried off. 
The second coat of paint literally covered everything up and I love how this looks. So while I wait for this to dry off and apply the varnish on top of this, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the second coat of paint on the dining table since the first coat had been completely dried off. When I applied the first coat of paint, I could still see some brush strokes and some areas of the wooden surface was still being seen. So I was really glad that the second coat of paint literally covered everything up very well. I took my time to paint this table because I did not want to mess up and I really wanted to do a good job. So I did take 3-4 to four hours to paint this entire table and my husband kept irritating me every once in a while but that's completely fine. I actually enjoyed painting this table because I love painting. I wanted to unscrew this and replace it so I just painted right over it and it was good to go. I'm gonna let the second coat of paint dry off overnight and I wanted to make sure that the paint is completely dried off before I seal it in. In order to seal it in, I'm gonna be using this water-based semi-gloss varnish and I'll also be using the same bristles brush that I used to paint the furniture as well. When you apply the varnish, you'll notice that the paint looks a little bit darker than earlier but don't worry about that because when the varnish dries off, the color will go back to its original shade. So here I'm applying a very thin coat of the varnish but I'll also be going back and applying a second coat after 4-5 to five hours. In the meanwhile I applied the first coat of varnish on the dining table as well. This took a very long time but it was so much fun, I actually loved painting so I actually enjoyed my time doing this. After this dried off, I went back and I painted the bar stools and the dining table one more time after 4-5 to five hours. I let the second coat of varnish dry off completely for 24 hours before I moved on with the next step. I got this really cute fabric from this textile company that I was working at earlier and this is what I wanted to use to cover the top of the bar stools. So I'm just going to place the fabric upside down on the cardboard and then I'm going to place the bar stool on top of that. Now I'll just measure the circumference of the fabric that I actually need and I'm going to cut off the excess with a pair of scissors. The goal here is to actually staple the fabric on the bar stool and I got this staple gun from my father-in-law. I have never used one before so I was so scared to actually use this. But it did require a lot of arm strength and precision so I was super careful with using this and I actually took my time doing this because I did not want to mess up or hurt myself so I literally took my time to do this but it was a lot of fun. It actually took so much time and energy to staple the fabric on the bar stool but once it was done, this is what it looked like and I'm super proud of myself. And that's it! I'm done with both of these projects. I absolutely love how they turned out and here is the final reveal. watching this video and if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to be a part of my youtube family have a wonderful rest of your day and you'll see me very soon in my next video bye